guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel, Don't Mind My PJs. I am honestly going to get ready for bed after this, which is why I have my eye makeup and my face, my face makeup is gone, but my eye makeup I decided to keep on because of the video I'm going to be doing today. But today I'm going to be filming my Blackhead Peel Off Mask type reveal thing. I have the Biore, hmm, my boxes are destroyed because of my boyfriend's a lovely family. This is a limited edition 8 deep cleansing pore strip from Biore. Like these are the ones I have for my Aries. Don't mind my Ollie's. I love Ollie's. I love to go to Ollie's with my mother. And I actually really needed to do one of these because my blackheads are actually really bad. I did work today, so that's why I had makeup previously on and why I'm in my Scooby Doo shirt because I'm going to bed after that. So I'm just going to take a previously moistened towel. This is a warm towel. It's got warm water on it. You can see from my skin turning red. And these strips take 15 minutes. I'm gonna, it says 10 to 15, but I'm going to do the whole 15. I also got all of my makeup today from Ulta and Sephora. Super excited. I'm probably going to look at that when I'm done with this. So there's like little like strip things that you have to like kind of pull off. Just make sure your nose is previously been moistened because the strip won't stick unless it's wet. So I'm going to put a timer on. And we're just going to sit and chill for 15 minutes. I'm actually going to take my eye makeup off on camera, which is probably like the first time I've ever taken my eye makeup off, if I remember correctly, or any of my makeup at all. I want to film a how I remove all of my makeup and go more in-depth with my clear up on it, because I don't feel like I did go in-depth with my review. Um, I love this thing so much. It's made such a difference in my skin. I will never go back to not having a cleansing device. I might try other ones because of my channel, but Clarifonics is what got me hooked. So today I'm going to be trying the Equate Beauty. This is Walmart brand. This is the Refresh Your Eyes Hydra Strength Eye Makeup Remover. So it actually does say it's like eye makeup. I have a price tag on here from when my mother got it on clearance for me. This is just something that was we've never seen before. It says it's a 3D Beta Rush Peptide Complex. And it actually has instructions for natural lashes and for lash extensions. For the hell of it, I'm just going to read it. For natural lashes, saturate cotton swab or pad with Equate Hydra Strength Eye Makeup Remover. Gently sweep over eye, make eye makeup tissue off or <laughs> rinse with water. See, this is just makes me funny. I'm actually going to take my wet towel and press this nose strip in because I really want to get these black heads off so super bad. It's going to be like a first impression. I'm also going to give a look. Oh, I like the little, it has a little lid. I like that. I didn't expect that. And I'm also using the Equate Beauty um, cotton pads. I've been using these for a bit. I like like the little Walmart ones or if you get them from Dollar Tree. Really they're all the same. It doesn't really matter. So I have a little bit of an update. I um I worked nine to two today. Um I did my makeup for today and um I decided I was going to wear the Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. Oh, that stung my eye. Okay. Oh, that really stung my eye. I do have sensitive eyes along with sensitive skin. So, I'm going to definitely have to try that on my other eye to see if that seems. It could have just gotten in my eye. Oh, wow. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see that, but my eye is like 
sticky. Like it's sticky. That's crazy. I don't feel like it got, yeah, it didn't even take, oh wait, I had a lot of free mascara on today. Never mind, I have to give them enough for that, but. Update on the Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. I did a first impressions on that. It's also on my channel if you guys would like to check that out. And I wore it with the matching concealer that I have. I love the concealer. The concealer is really full coverage and it's really, really nice. So I do have a little bit of an update with that foundation. I can already tell this is going to sting my eyes. It like foamed up on my eyeball. I'm not sure if y'all could see that, but it like foamed up. That's really crazy, but it did. It foamed up on my eyeball. I'm gonna talk more about this later. I'm gonna get the hard candy out of the way. So I wore the hard candy foundation today, and I have normal to dry. I have more dry skin. I get dry flakes, I get dry patches from time to time where my skin flakes off. My Clarifying's really been helping with that. But, so I wore that foundation today. I don't have any dry flakes right now because the weather is changing to hot. It's actually been really nice weather lately, so I haven't had any dry flakes. But I did really moisturize because I do have more dry skin like I can feel right here like it's it's dry it could use a moisturizer my skin's just naturally like that I guess because of the weather we are just not winter so that makes sense but I had a lot of like really moisturizing products on today I do have a um how I get ready in the morning I have a video on my channel of that if you want to check that out that is also on my channel and I really like my morning routine. It's very simple, just like my nighttime routine, and it's perfect for my skin because it really works, especially with my Clarisonic. Well, the only difference is, is now I have a Clarisonic that I do cleanse my face with. Um, and I use that every morning and night as well. So I really like had a very moisturized face, and I just felt like the foundation just kind of like. I don't know, went on odd? I don't know. I've never had a foundation go on slippy and slidey like that one did. Like, it was just so slippy and slidey, and I used my sponge to blend it out, which is my typical routine. I do like to blend out my foundations with sponges. And it was a light to medium coverage foundation also. I don't know. I'm going to keep trying it because I've only given it two tries. I gave it a try in my first impressions where I didn't like it, and today... I didn't like it this morning either. I just, even when I've set my face down with powder, I don't feel like it set it down. Like, that's so weird to say, but it just didn't set down. Like, I could do that and my face would go shh and all my makeup would go on the fall. My, my blush is what I really realized because I use my MAC Love Rush brush love rush blush every day and I use the same routine with it that really works to apply the powder evenly the right color and I really like it and if I don't have a good base set down where I have powder on top then that blush will stick and cling in spots to my foundation and that's what I was noticing yet about today as well I had that yesterday in my foundation video my get ready with me, that did happen yesterday as well. My boyfriend actually told me I did not look good yesterday, so I completely took my makeup off. Um, so maybe my powder isn't applying. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I hit severe pan with that powder for sure. But I don't know. I just kind of like dug it out and made it into like a press or a loose powder. Because I spent the money on that chip, I'm getting all of the use that I can out of that. And I didn't want to use my banana powder.
because the banana powder is just too dark for my skin. I don't know why it's too dark for my skin either because banana powders are actually really nice for my undertone because I do prefer to have a yellow undertone because I do have Native American in me. And it, you don't see it on my phone camera, but if I look in the mirror, I have fair skin, but I have a very, very warm undertone. And I'm hoping I can get on my computer camera. I was going to film this video on my computer camera, but I decided I didn't want to because and when I move it and I have this all set up right here and it was just kind of perfectly working out just right. So that's what I ended up deciding to do was I decided to film on my phone camera instead of my camera on my computer. I'll probably film on my camera on my computer for a few days, probably Monday and Tuesday and just play around with it for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'll have to update you guys with another video, but I did try the Hard Candy Foundation again today with the concealer. I still like the concealer. I don't think I like the foundation, though. It's just so strange to me. I just don't like it. I'm just going to set this down again, because I can feel right here it's not set down completely. I have a lot of blackheads on my nose. Typically, in my, on my nose, my chin, and my forehead, I do get blackheads, but I have serious pores, too, on my face. They're pretty big. They're not large, but they're pretty big. And I've been actually getting into using my dermosuction, and I think I might need my dermosuction off. We're waiting. I can find the right head. I've actually really been getting into this. I've really been getting into different tools. I just have the regular head on. Before I go into this, because I'm just going to clean my pores or attempt to, this burned my eyeballs and it foamed up. I don't know why it foamed up. It just, eye makeup remover should not foam up like that. It felt foamy on my eyes. This is a hydrate, hydro one too. So that's just really weird. I'll continue to play around with this as well because this was the first time that I used it. It says it's oil free and conditioning for lash extensions and damaged lashes. Rebuild, repair, and recover. I'll continue to use this and I'll have to update you guys in another video. I plan to do monthly favorite favorites and regrets, so you might see this in a favorite or a regret. Alright, there was action time. I really been getting into tools. I really want to try a few tools that Ulta has. name a few. Um, yeah, see, I can tell my skin is clean and it's dry now for sure. So, just to name a few, um, the PMD microdermabrasion, I really, really want to try that. That looks really intriguing. I do like to do to use tools like this because of how much foundation, just how much makeup I do put on on a daily basis. You guys can see how simple my skin is. You can just easily turn the bright red, cherry red. I want to get right here because I feel like I never focus right here unless I'm focusing my foundation. I don't even feel like I focus like skincare here for some reason. But the PMD Microdermabrasion will be on my channel. I will do a dedicated video with that. I just haven't purchased it yet because I just don't feel the need to go out and get it right at this second. Another thing, I want to try the Nutria Microdermabrasion, that one as well. Um, I actually had that years ago and I decluttered it. I gave it to um, one of my co-workers at McDonald's when I worked there because she was older and her skin was horrific, and I just felt like 
microdermabrasion is, or it can be for more mature skin. And at the time I was like 19 or something like that. And I just didn't feel like I needed to be investing all that time into my, yeah, you guys can see that line. I was just looking at that. Let me get it right here. I'm not really getting like too too much oil or dirt. Like I can see inside the vacuum. I've done a review on this, but I can see inside the vacuum to see what all I'm getting, and I'm not getting dirt or oil or anything, which really does show that my makeup remover does work. But I definitely want to do the Neutrogena microdermabrasion. I want to have that on my channel again as well. Well, I didn't have it again, but I want to do that. And I also Foreo USO. Really want that. I only have another like minute or so where I can take this off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit my forehead real fast. That UFO though, I'm definitely trying that, but I prefer to buy my stuff from Ulta if I can. So I won't go out of my way to purchase that at the moment, and you know, I really want to try that. Just because I do want to see if Ulta gets it. It is currently at Sephora. Are interested. It's just a really expensive, expensive device. But come on, all skincare is expensive when it's worth it. It's not crazy though, usually. Um, only have seven more seconds. Oh, I can't show you guys my screen saver. As you can see. It's a little bit, I'm not entirely sure if you can see, but I don't really have that, really anything on my nose anymore. My nose is really red. <laughs> but I like my skin, how it applies, how makeup applies on top of it. After I've done that. So if there's something right here that I want to get off. So that is it for today's video. I had a few a first impression, an update on my first impression from another thing, and I did something I really needed to do with my blackhead nose peel off mask. Right. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Alright, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.